Hi, in this short video, I will walk you through this cup table template and explain how to make the most of it. So first of all, what's a cup table? Cup table is a list, is a document that lists all the investors that are and shareholder in the companies with their respective investment, the share they have and the percentage of the company they own. So this is a very important document if you're a founder, if you work in a startup, because it's, it's, it needs to be updated every time new investors step in and is, is, is a good way uh, to, to do some projection in case of exit event or in case of M&A were actually coming. So this is a very important document and through this this template we will explain the logic how to uh, improve it and how to uh, keep it updated over time so the logic of the of this template is pretty easy so let's go to the investment rounds page here you you have the starting point this is pre-investment this is pre-investment cap table so the cap table when only the founders or early employee are in the company just list the name the title and the investment they put and then the share they get from the, from from basically incorporating the company then you may want to add some investors. So at some point you will, you will after the MVP, most likely you want to raise some money from, from angel investor. And so the, all, every, all you need to do is to list the name of the investor and then the investment amount. The number of share of these of, of assigned to those uh, to those to those investors depends on the share price, basically. So it will be like the investment amount divided by the share price. And the share price is like just stems from adding some other terms of from from this this uh, investment round. In this case, you have the closing date here. You have the total round size, which just stems from the sum of all the investment in the previous table, and then you have the pre-money valuation. So this is very important. This is a very important variable because it represents uh, the value that, that those that, that, that those investors are attributing to your company before the new investment. And the share price is basically the price they are gone, they are paying to step into the comp to get into the cap table of the company is just the pre-money valuation divided by the total amount of outstanding amount of shares. So in that case, the share all amount the, the share the, the, the sum of all the shares of the founders. In that case, eleven k. The post-money valuation is just the, the, the round size plus the pre-money valuation, and the number of new shares is just the. Uh, total round size divided by the share price. And this, this number of new shares is basically the sum of all the shares attributed to the new investors. And that's it. So this is, this, this is how you add new investors. And you can do the same also for the seed terms. So whenever you are like moving forward with your company, you may want to raise uh, another seed round to, to, to expand the company. And you, you just do the same. You just input all the seed investors here. And using the same logic, you input the pre-money valuation here. What's 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 could actually be different is that at some point you want to you may want to uh, create an employee pool terms, uh, employee uh, employee pool equity pool. So uh, it's basically um, an amount of shares that are devoted just to the employee to incentivize them and to align to your to your mission and the vision of the company. And if it, whether it is created pre-seed or or during the seed the seed round is basically uh, affect the, the change the dilution the dilution effect so in case it created pre-seed it will only dilute previous previous shareholders and not current one and so you will you will not see any difference between in the effective pre-money and the pre-money valuation uh, if not obviously if it is created during the during the round or after the round obviously the, the effective pre-money which should should take into account this new this new amount of uh, amount of money because you are give, you are as a founder are giving up more equity um, just input the percentage for fully diluted uh, employee pool you want to assign, and then the, the the table will calculate the employee the share full the number of share fully diluted based on the price of the of the of the round. And that's it. Whenever you want to add new uh, new um, investment, you just need to create another uh, terms table and another investor table, and then in the cap table. In the summary page, uh, this 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 table is basically using our append um, function to merge and to put all together this 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 data coming from different table and then recomputing um, the percentage fully diluted base of, of the of, on the shares that have been that have been issued to the specific investor. That's it. Enjoy.